Ah, oh, shit. We got to do something about it. Not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I hope this is recording my, uh, my voice. I know it's been a while since I've put my voice to a gameplay video, but this is Ace Combat something. I don't know. Every Ace Combat game that I've played, and I've played just about all of them, have had this same mission where you have the radar sites that are the red circles that you see on the little radar on the left hand side bottom left and you as the pilot of a squadron of fighters in some military you see all the red circles you have to avoid those circles while going to a central target in this case the central target is a space elevator um, what is this game? This game is like Fallen Skies or something? It's the newest Ace Combat game on PlayStation 4. I got it for sale. I picked up uh, Vampire and uh, what is the other one? World War Z. All of these games are great. I waited until Ace Combat went on sale um, and I got World War Z on sale as well as Vampire. Uh, all of those games are good. I would not pay full price for near one of those games. None of them. Not one of them. Vampire is a really good game. Don't get me wrong. And I follow Vampire from the beginning. It's a great game. Uh, I follow the the uh, development the, the development stage and everything that went along with it. I know they changed some things. And from what I've seen, it's really good. You basically play as a... I got a video of one game and I'm going to talk about another game? Am I really going to do that? Yes. Because if you don't know about Ace Combat by now... Just play it. You, this is essentially what this game is about. You will see it in this video. Every Ace Combat game has this exact mission. There's probably going to be some sort of escort mission. I haven't beat this game yet, but there's always the, the, this one, an escort mission, um, straight up air-to-air -air combat, and some air-to-ground combat, and that's it. Th if you played one Ace Combat, you've played them all. I... Uh, I, I, was, I spent time in the military. I was in the military for 12 years in the Air Force. I love airplanes in general. So you take video games and airplanes and you mash them together, and this is the outcome. So, yes, I am going to always buy Ace Combat. It's going to be amazing. But like I was saying, Vampire is good. You play as uh, the main character is a guy who got bit by a vampire and he ended up becoming a vampire. And you're in some place in, in London. Or, I don't even think it's London, but I don't know what it is. Um, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to find the vampire that bit you so you can get some answers to some questions. It's the same story of any RPG if you strip away all the extra stuff of any RPG, it's always the same thing. You're a character, and you got questions, and you need to find the answers to those questions. So you go on all these quests, and you meet all these people, so you can get those answers. The Name an RPG where you don't have questions that need answering. Final Fantasy, you got questions, they need to be answered. Hey, what's going on here? Um, let's see, what, what's another RPG? Uh, Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Is Mass Effect an RPG? Yeah, it's kind of it's an RPG. You got questions though, and those questions need to be answered. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna lead a crew on your spaceship, and you're gonna go find those answers through hell and high water. You you need answers. I mean, that's basically it. What's going on here? I don't know. Let's go find out. Well, these guys got questions too, and they look pretty cool. Okay, well, let's bring them on. Let's see what's going on. Let's let's do that. You can even go outside of an RPG, and you can go to like Space Quest back on the old PC, the old the old PC game Space Quest, which is kind of like an RPG. You, I mean, it is a role-playing game. You play as Roger Wilco, a janitor that's been thrown in all these crazy situations. And what happens when crazy situations come around, come about? When when crazy situations arise, what what's the first thing that you do? What's going on here? What is that that I just spoke? That phrase? It's a question. And what happens when you ask a question? You want an answer. And what do you do to get those answers? You go on a quest. Doesn't matter. That's just part of life. If there's questions that need to be asked, that, that need to be answered, you got to go find those answers. That's an RPG. 
the Legend of Zelda. Hey, I'm Link. What's going on here? Oh, I got some questions. Need to go figure out the answers. Oh, there's a quest that's involved that that involves this. Well, I guess I'm going on quest. I mean, that's just what it is. Even in real life, dog, you cannot sit on your phone or log on to just flip your laptop up and go to Google every time. Sometimes you actually have to call people, and then I know what I'm saying is crazy, but it's real. You have you may actually have to talk to somebody face to face. Get in your car and go find them and 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 figure out what's going on. Uh, it, it, that's the basis of an RPG. So, Vampire, <laughs> Vampire is a is a pretty good game. I've had fun with that game. And uh, World War Z is another great game. That game allows you to play online, and it's you and three other people, randoms. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you could do squads. It'd be weird if you couldn't get into a squad and play with your squad, uh, your people that you know. But I played with three other random people, and it's fun. If you haven't seen, if you know about World War Z, the movie. If you've seen it, I. I, I like it. I would suggest that you watch it. it uh, you don't have to like watch the movie before you play the game, but to understand the amount of zombies that you fight in the game, you have to watch the movie or watch a clip of the movie on YouTube and see what's going on. Um, there are hordes of zombies, and they they um, they they flow like water that's one thing that i liked about that game is that oh and not the game i like the in the game but in the movie i liked how the zombies just flowed like like i like that shit i don't like the zombies that just walk around like uh, like uh elderly people in the mall before it opens like i don't like that because to me in real life that's not a threat to me i'm just gonna walk around you or i'm just gonna walk a little bit faster or maybe I'm just gonna run. Maybe I'll just get in my car and I'll drive through you because you're a zombie and I can run you over. And since you're dead, I'm not really committing a crime. I'm actually helping people. But um, the f the big waves of zombies. And uh, listen, if you've seen a tsunami or you've seen a big wave, or you know maybe you're into surfing and you like you you're at the top of a wave and you're like, man, I really am good at surfing. Take that wave and then take the water out, but keep the physical properties of that water, but replace it with zombies, and that's World War Z. Really good game. It was on sale. Um, I bought it on sale. I've had a lot of fun with it. And not only do you play, you have the option of playing through the storyline online or solo, you can also play um online in team based games where you have domination and team deathmatch and you also have uh there there are many other choices but those two are are my go to when i play online so if you if you're used to online gaming uh online shooters then when i'm saying team deathmatch is your team against their team whoever kills each other each each kill gets a point and you go to the limit whichever team makes the limit first is is the winner or whoever has the most points at the end of the designated time is the winner okay so that's cool that's how team deathmatch is world war z is your team their team and then hordes of zombies that you have to deal with while you're trying to kill the uh, the team i love that because it adds a different element to the game if you're gonna have a zombie game, try something new. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work. In World War Z's case, it worked. And that's amazing to me. Especially for a game that I picked up on sale. It's pretty cool. And I like it. I also managed to pick up some some new headphones. I used the Sony Gold headphones and I used them so long that they literally started to fall apart on me. And they still work. They just—it it was just time to retire them. So I'm gonna pass those on. I have some. Hold on. I have the Steel Series. I think they're the A5 or something. I don't know. I don't know. They're not the top of the line. They are the wired version. Um, I like this because even though they're wired, you can plug the wire into the PlayStation controller, which. It really makes them wireless. I mean, I can I can.
take my controller and sit across the living room and still hear everything. The sound quality is good. Um, I, I think the mic quality is good. I'm going to see how it comes out on this video. I really haven't used it that much. I used it some on World War Z. But uh, I know with the, the Sony Gold headsets, the sound quality was good. But the mic quality had that old 90s telephone sound type deal. For those of us who grew up in the 90s, you understand what I'm saying. It's not really um, clear as HD sound or anything like that. It's more like an analog radio sound. Um, like an AM analog radio sound. So I'm going to see how this goes. And if it's... If it's better, cool. If not, also cool. Because you still heard what I was saying. It's just, it, it just had that retro sound to it. Not ex necessarily a bad thing, but um, if I have a chance to improve on it through the Steel Series headset, then yeah, I'm going to accept that. Uh, I got about five, uh, about four minutes left in this video. I might cut it short. Uh, I, I normally do 15 minute clips. And I don't know, man. I, I haven't done a, a YouTube video where I've just talked about it in a while. And um, it's, it's I'm getting back into the groove of Game Caviar. It's great that I have time to do this now. I'm glad that I didn't, like, delete my channel or anything weird like that. And I've gone back and listened to... Uh, watched my old videos they're still pretty cool man I had so much fun doing it back in the day and I'm glad that I'm able to get back into it I also have pod caviar my podcast that is really good and at that has come into its own uh, we talk about a lot of things uh, my homeboy Graham he has his own podcast one Graham army and we are always host on each other's podcast and we talk about a number of things and it gets crazy it gets serious we talk about um a lot of topics there's really no topic that i don't think we 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 touch on all the topics we put our spin on it and we have a good time and if we know something for a fact we speak facts and if we don't then we'll say that you know we're not gonna blow smoke up your ass if we know something we know it and if we don't know something then we don't know it but the thing that I want to uh, uh, say to everybody or whoever hears this is that, look, there's so many ways to enjoy not just myself, but um, the people that are like me that have that are making great content and we're, we're networking and really starting to to um, to me, it's like a new wave of content creators and it's 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 people that that are in a different demographic or different age group so you get a a different um piece of art from what we're doing and we're not taken away from what you're used to doing what you're used to hearing or what you're used to seeing it's just us making our space in this whole entertainment world so to speak and it's very positive, man. It's it's great being able to sit down and express yourself, whether I, it's th through game caviar or whether it's through pod caviar, or and 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 I still have shirt caviar. That's always going to be there. That's that's the clothing business where you see all of my art on T-shirts and uh, I I <laughs> I describe it as a women's boutique surrounded by an art museum and that's really what it is go to shirtcaviar.com and check that out see what you like on there there's shirts many different prices many different designs there's a story behind every design that i made on that website and during the summer we're about to start shooting a documentary to where i can put into I can put everything that I'm saying to you now into a visual form because um, people know me and they know that I have these projects that I that I do and that I have a business, but they don't know. So I'm going to use the visual means to tie all of this together as well as do a better job of posting all of this on Facebook and Instagram and really letting people know that, yeah, I have all of this going on and it's still going on and we're still going strong with it. And you can see the improvement in that I'm really serious about all of this and that this is just the beginning. So if you see something that's great, 
it's amazing but this video is about to come to an end i am not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out